Hello everybody, Izzy e. Riders here, and today we are starting things off awfully close. Hello there. But today I'm going to be teaching you how to build a universal tree farm on the Bedrock Edition of Minecraft. Now this tree farm is based off of another tree farm that I found, but it is improved design. Give me just a sec. This tree farm is based off of Lee Eisenbron's tree, Universal Tree Farm from Minecraft Bedrock, but this design has been improved so that way it won't break. There was some issues with the other one where it would break. And overall, it's a slightly more efficient design. As you can see, it, there is quite a bit of redstone, and this is mostly because of the acacia trees, which require a little bit different, like movement around the actual tree farm itself in order to be moved properly outside of here. So as you can see, we have just regular oak, we have spruce, we have birch, we have jungle, and we have acacia logs. And this machine is able to process them all and they will line them up correctly just right over here perfectly for you. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on to the tutorial. So for this build, you can find a link to all the material parts listed down in the description. Unfortunately, it is pretty expensive because it is a universal tree farm and there's a lot more factors we have to consider for than just with a standard tree farm. But first, we're going to start off by building our little platform. So you're going to want to grab hoppers, droppers. It does not need to be a dispenser, but it can if you would like it to be. You're going to need to grab a non-solid object like a stair and a solid object and then you're going to want to build up a couple of blocks from where you want to actually have your tree farm be. You're going to place a dropper facing outwards. You're going to place basically hoppers in a semi 5x5 five five formation like shown except you will not be placing any in the middle ex for now. So if we go ahead fill in the rest of this in a just like so there's a couple special things that you need to do now. You're going to need to take a hopper, place it on top of this hopper. So if we're facing towards this farm, you want to place it on the right hand side and place a hopper going into that. And then what you're going to need to do is also grab your dispenser and you're going to then place a dropper, not a dispenser, facing upwards like so. Maybe if I shift click and then place a dispenser facing you on top of that. So this is kind of what should look like so far. Go ahead and grab a grass or dirt block. It can be either or, it doesn't really matter. Place it there and then you can grab a hopper and just kind of run it in like that. And that is our base platform done. And then the next thing that we're going to want to do is we are going to build up the piston array that's going to be crushing the leaves and pulling along our blocks. So go ahead, clear out your inventory, grab sticky pistons, observers, redstone dust, glass, or half slabs, half slabs should work as well, regular pistons, solid blocks, and your non-solid block. So for the first layer, most of this is going to actually just be solid blocks. So this farm is definitely very directional for how you place things inside of it. It doesn't matter like which orientation it is in the world, but how you place things around this little hopper rate is indeed very important. So what you're going to want to do is to the left of this dropper, you're going to go out, place two solid blocks, one non-solid block, and then two more solid blocks. And then you're going to go around this corner, place a whole line of solid blocks like so, and then go around the corner. You're going to place a solid block, and then you're going to place an observer facing in this direction. You're going to then place a sticky piston facing into the design. Ooh, that was a big lag spike. And then you're going to take a regular piston and put it going out of the design. And then you're going to actually have an air block right here. So let's go ahead, get back here. This is kind of where it gets a little bit complicated. Right here, you're going to want to come out and then place a sticky piston facing inwards into like that. And then you're going to take this design and take it up by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blocks and do that right here as well. And then you're going to take your observers and just place them all along facing in like so. Ooh, lag. So all their little observer butts are facing towards you. 
and then you're going to go ahead and place sticky pistons all the way up here. And that should be the majority of this well done. You're going to want to then take solid blocks and just do that. And all of your pistons should fire, of course. Over here, you're going to want to take regular pistons again and just kind of bring them all the way up as well. And then over here, you're going to want to... This is where it gets like very, very expensive. You're going to want to kind of build out a little bit. And then behind your solid blocks, you want to create a row of four by nine pistons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And yeah, this is why this design is so expensive is because of how many sticky pistons and regular pistons you are going to need to use. So go ahead, fill this in with all your sticky pistons. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take observer blocks and make it so that on both sides of your sticky pistons or little observer butts are kind of facing towards you just like so. So that way when they are activated, they will activate these regular pistons. You're going to want to put a line of regular pistons on the inside of this, just like so. And that should be this side, the interior of their side completely done. And then of course, you're going to want to place a line of solid blocks into those observers. You do not need the sticky piston back there. And you're going to want to essentially repeat the exact same thing on this side with you're going out by a couple blocks, just like so, and then placing a sticky piston facing inwards. One, two, three, four, just like that. And you're going to do the same thing, nine, and then observers, piston, piston, observer, and that should be this side done as well. Now for the final side is where things get a little bit tricky. So what you're going to want to do is it starts off very similar. You're going to build this out and then you're actually going to place piston, sticky piston, sticky piston, and then you could go ahead, destroy these blocks, and then you're going to, of course, go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then, of course, do the same on this side with the pistons facing towards you, not upwards, and you're going to go ahead and make a line of observer blocks with their little butts kind of facing towards this dropper or not facing towards the dropper their faces are facing towards the dropper like so and then you're going to take your sticky pistons again and you're going to just line them up like this and here's where things get a little bit different so you're going to go ahead on the second block not the first one take this out like that, go ahead, destroy that. And you're gonna create another line of sticky pistons kind of just going upwards, up by nine this time. So they're all leveled together. And then you're going to take observer blocks here, observer, just a sec, observer blocks here, and you're going to be facing them in towards the same direction, just like so. You're going to take then regular pistons and face those upwards or not upwards towards you and then you're going to take sticky pistons on this face and you're going to build those up and then on the face of these sticky pistons you're going to want to take dirt and it has to be dirt unfortunately it cannot be a prettier block and you're going to build that all the way up Okay, the next thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to build our little redstone lines that will power these big giant walls of pistons. And so for that, you're going to, of course, want a your glass block, your redstone, and your solid blocks. Ooh, that was a big lag spike. And then you're going to take your solid... Let's go ahead and start with this row of pistons since this one's the easiest. If we're looking down at our farm, these are the ones to the far right side. If I can direction, yeah, I think that's the right. And then you're going to want to take your solid blocks and every other piston, you're going to go ahead and place a row. And then on top of that, go ahead and place your redstone dust. And then on the back, you're going to want to take your glass, go like that, and then build up by one. Not like that, like that. And you're going to place redstone dust, like that, glass, glass, dust, dust, glass, glass, dust, dust and all the way until you reach the top. Now you basically repeat the same design for these ones, except you start off by one block lower than the pistons are, go out by one, two, three, four, 
one, two, three, four. Dust, 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 dust. And for the glass, you're going to do it in the center like so. And it's nice that we can actually center on a too wide area for this one. So go ahead and do that for this wall of pistons and this wall of pistons. But this wall of pistons is a little bit different. It's just a touch different. And I will go over that once we get there. Now this side's going to start off pretty similar. You're going to of course want your line of solid blocks right there, but you're going to add a solid block right there. And then you're going to repeat that all the way up, going every other piston layer like so. And then when you get to adding in your glass, the glass has to actually go in a very specific spot for this one. It has to start here and then go up by one starting so it's in the center like that. And then you can go ahead, build up your glass and it's pretty much the same pattern all the way up as we have done with the other pistons. So what I would recommend doing now is just making sure that all of your pistons do indeed work. So go ahead, grab a lever, fire it. You should see that these pistons over here will fire once when the observer moves and then fire again once the observer moves back. And go ahead, repeat that for all of them, just like so, and make sure they all work correctly. All right, so next we are going to be building up the part of the tree farm that will push out the logs so that they can easily be mined. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the front of your design, which should look something like this now. Go ahead, take a solid block, build out by one, and then place an observer facing like so, and go ahead, destroy that block. And this is where things are going to get a little bit cramped. So maybe have some ender pearls ready or something like that. So go ahead, build this up by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just like so, go ahead, grab some redstone dust, your solid blocks, some glass, and some repeaters. And that should be all you really need for this part of the build. The reason that we have to use observers instead of a smart piston feed tape is because of the acacia trees. You're going to find that's a very, very common theme throughout this entire build. And then go ahead and place solid blocks on every other observer face. And then go ahead, place redstone dust on top of those blocks. And then right next to that, right next to those observers, go ahead, place sticky pistons facing in, or not sticky, regular pistons facing in the exact same direction as the observers, just like so. And then what you're going to want to do is every other piston that alternates, so it should look like solid block, solid block, solid block, and a zigzag kind of all the way down. Because from here, you're going to want to take a repeater output from the block, and then you're actually going to also need to take a repeater output right here, and make sure those are all set to one tick, and that should be perfectly fine, just like so. You don't need one there. But now what you're going to want to do is you're going to essentially do the same thing that you have done over here, where you have two solid blocks like this, and then you're going to have your glass elevator that carries up the redstone signal just like this where you have redstone there, 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 and there, and then glass up. And that should fire all these pistons when the time comes. Now, again, I would recommend just testing each and every observer to make sure that when there's a block placed in front of it, all of those pistons do indeed fire, because otherwise you'll be very sad when this breaks. And another thing is, is when you set it up like this, you cannot place redstone dust right here, because otherwise you will create an infinite loop. All right, so next up, we are going to be building a small part of our room where we will be actually using the tree farm in. For this, you're going to need sticky pistons, uh, whatever block you would like to use, you are going to need a stair variant of that and a regular variant, and then go ahead and grab a lever as well. So what you're going to do first is take this dropper, place a temporary block there, and go down one and place another temporary block. Go ahead and place one more block down there, and place a sticky piston facing upwards like that. And now you could go ahead and delete those blocks because we will be needing to do other stuff there later. Go ahead and place your stair right there. And then you could go ahead and build up just around this area like so. So that way you're kind of encased in right here. You're going to need to be encased in right here for all the redstone to be able to fit. And then go out here and just go ahead and build up like so. And then you're going to need to place a lever right there. 
And so next I'm going to be doing some of the redstone and I will be doing this essentially by wire. So our first wire is going to be turning on and off the farm, which is essentially that lever right there. So let's go ahead and grab some wool. I will be using wool as my little wire so that way it's easy to keep track of. You're going to need some redstone dust. You're going to need redstone torches repeaters and comparators at this moment in time. You're also going to need redstone blocks and sticky pistons. So go ahead, grab all those components and head back to your farm. So what you're going to want to do now is right beneath where the lever is, you're going to take your little wire, build it out by four blocks, just like so. And place redstone dust right along there. Now you're going to want to take a redstone torch, place it on either side at the end, and then another one just right there. Now right under here, you're going to go down by a block, build it out by one, and then go ahead and build it out by one, two, three, and go up one. You can delete that block now and go one, two, three, four, just like so. You're going to take two redstone tusks like that, and you're going to essentially run it in. Oh, I built this out one too far. You're going to run that into a little pulse extender. So go ahead, repeater or comparator like that, comparator like that. And then redstone dust there. And then on the other side here, you want to go ahead, build out a little bit more. And then go out by one, two, three blocks. Go ahead, place redstone dust along there. And run. Actually, you need to place a redstone torch on the end of that, run that out into a sticky piston facing this way with a redstone block on its face. There's just a couple more things that you need to do now with this. And that is first off to delete this redstone torch because I put that in the wrong place. You're going to want to place it here and then go ahead, take your wire, run it out like this. You're going to want to place one redstone dust here, another redstone torch here leading into some redstone dust and then you're also going to want to build up by a block here place a redstone torch here and you're going to want to actually delete this hopper you're going to need to redirect this hopper right here into that one and then you're going to place a solid block of your choice right here and that should be that done and there's just one more thing to do since we did indeed delete a block we have to go back inside of our farm now and there's a couple things we're going to do in here we're going to place redstone dust there a repeater set to four ticks just like so two redstone dust and a repeater set to one tick and that should be that section of the farm done let me just clear the weather real quick go ahead hop outside your farm and then you will be able to test if this thing works by standing on this Stay right here and flicking the lever. You should instantly go up. You should see that repeater being powered. You shouldn't be able to actually leave the farm right now until you flick this lever off. And that's all of that circuit done. So for our next little circuit here, you're not gonna need much. You're going to need a couple droppers, some comparators, some redstone, and a wire. And you're also going to need some glass as well. So let's go ahead and select that. So go ahead and with your little sticky piston with the redstone block in front of it, build that out right to there. Then you're going to want to build this platform out just like so. And you're going to want to place a comparator and put that into subtract mode and redstone just like that. So when our farm is on, that should create a little clock. And then what you're going to want to do is come over here, build down with your wire or whatever temporary block you'd like just like so and then you're going to want to place in two droppers facing upwards oh I don't know if I'm going to be able to yeah you should be able to do that just like that and this is going to allow you to add additional bone meal into your farm so you do not have to worry about running out and then what you're going to want to do from there is you're going to want to take your wire on this side and build this out by a couple blocks like so build this down by one block and go ahead, run your redstone right along there, just like that. And then you're also going to want to take this, run it out here and place a block there. You're going to want to run the redstone directly into there and that should power those two droppers. Go ahead, take a glass block, 
place it right there and run that right there and that should actually power both that dropper and that dispenser and then you're also going to want to take this line and run it out just a little bit more go ahead build it out like so and build it right there you're going to take then redstone dust redstone dust and we're going to need a repeater which i conveniently forgot to grab so let's go ahead grab that and set it to one tick to run into that block like so and now if we go ahead head over here and turn on our farm we should immediately pop up and then in just a couple seconds these should start firing if we place some items in there you'll see they do indeed fire out and any items that go into the hopper will be fired out of this dropper to you so that way any saplings that you get any saplings that are dropped by the farm will be given to you in the farm so that way you don't have to worry about having like 30 saplings i believe all you need is three for this farm to work non-stop all right for our next circuit you're going to need some wool for your wire it can be any block really you're going to need sticky pistons observers redstone dust redstone repeaters and torches so what you're going to want to do is come in with your light blue wire go ahead take um right here next to that output go ahead place a wire place another wire coming down just like so and then you're going to want to place redstone dust on top of both of these and then you're going to place a redstone torch on the opposite side of that redstone torch go ahead place a sticky piston and then go down beneath it you're going to want to place an observer with its little butt facing downwards now you're going to want to also take your wool again go ahead build it down like so right there so that way the when the piston's extended the piston head should be directly above this block go ahead place some redstone dust on there you're going to need to go beneath this block and build out like so and then you're going to want to take another block here take a two tick repeater output from there run that into a four tick repeater which runs into a block like so take a three tick output from there and run that as well into a block like so go ahead build out just a little bit more and then on this side you're going to want to build out a little platform and you're going to place redstone dust all along here so this basically extends the pulse to be the exact length that we'd like go ahead run that into a repeater you're going to want to then build up this tower but first go ahead go up to where your piston walls are build out another set of wires that connects these two up like this and then you're going to essentially build a staircase upwards okay so once you've gotten here go ahead set a repeater to one to here a repeater to one to here a repeater to one to here and then just fill in the rest of it with redstone the stair could be however you'd like it it does not have to look exactly like this whatever really works then what you're going to want to do is come all the way up to the top of your farm build out your wire again so that it connects these two up this is where timings are very very important so make sure that they are exactly as you see them repeater set to four ticks and you're going to do that three times so three repeaters set to four ticks two redstone dust and then a repeater set to two ticks just like so and then you're going to want to come around to the opposite side of your farm all the way down here go ahead build out a wire connecting these two piston walls like so put a block up there you're going to want to take redstone dust run it all the way like this and then a repeater set to one tick now what you could do is you could go ahead and actually test the farm like this so go ahead turn it on and then place a block right there and in theory you should see all the pistons fire just like so and your block should end up all the way in this corner so if we go ahead and exit the farm it should be on this fire hopper if it isn't then something has gone terribly wrong and you're gonna have to fix that but if it is right there that's wonderful okay so this next bit is also pretty cool what you're going to need is you're going to need wires repeaters redstone glass solid block sticky piston observer and regular pistons so what you want to do is you want to take an observer output from that top block go ahead and build out a wire like so and the timings here are also very exact and they cannot be anything else 
otherwise the farm will break. So go ahead, build this out by three blocks, across by three more blocks, and then go ahead and build back just a little bit more like so, I believe out to there. So go ahead and take a repeater output and set that to four ticks, two ticks, not three, two ticks, redstone dust. Actually, I need to build this out by one more block here. And you're going to want to take another repeater output, set that to four ticks, four ticks again, redstone dust, wire, 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 redstone dust, repeater set to four ticks, repeater set to four ticks, Red, another bit of wire, redstone dust. And actually you could replace this with your solid block of choice and just do redstone dust like so. Okay, and so for this part, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take observers. It's a little bit tricky. You can go ahead and remove these pistons if you'd like, but you're going to place them kind of facing in towards the farm, just like so, and then go ahead and build that all the way up. I'm going to be delaying these pistons just because it makes it easier. Go ahead and replace all those pistons just like that. And then on the side of these observer blocks, go ahead, place sticky pistons facing inwards. And then on this side, you're going to want to place pistons. It has to be pistons. It can't be redstone dust that updates these observers because then it will tick just a little bit too fast. And that's where we get pistons messing up. But then you kind of want to repeat what we have going on here, where you have the solid blocks every other layer, and then the glass elevator for the redstone going all the way up to the top. Then again, I would recommend checking your farm, so go ahead, turn it on, see if your pistons fire in the right order. You should see that your block does indeed get pushed and pulled all the way over to this area right here, which it looks like it did just perfectly. So go ahead, test it. You can also test if it gets far enough over for these pistons to go ahead and fire. Now, actually, this design is practically done for every type of tree except for oak and acacia, which those two have special cases to them. So if you would like, you could skip to the part of the video where I build the piston a uh, pushing thing right over here. I will put a timestamp for that down in the description. If you do want to use this for acacia and oak trees though, you will have to stick around with me for a little bit longer as we go over how to build that section of the build. All right, so we're now gonna build a special case for acacia logs. If you do not plan on using this farm for acacia trees, but you do plan on using it for oak trees, a timestamp for that can also be found in the description. So go ahead and build out your little platform just a little bit more, just like so, and then go ahead, build this out like however you'd like it. We just need to be able to take outputs. So I'm gonna put a lever here to take the output for acacia based logs. So go ahead, grab your wire, place it on this side, go ahead, add some redstone dust to it, and place a redstone torch on the opposite side. Now go over here, you're going to build this out and down just a little bit like so, and like this, and basically we're running it into an AND gate, so only if the farm is on and if you want to do acacia logs will this happen. So go ahead, right here we're going to build out a small little pulse extender, go ahead, run this into there, Take that right there, redstone dust there, and that is our little pulse extender completed. What you're going to want to do now is head all the way over here, place a redstone torch on the side of that block. Go ahead and build out a little bit like so. And you're going to want to place some redstone dust right here. And then we're going to actually be taking a really, really long um, a pulse extender. That's the word. I couldn't work for just a sec right there. So let's see real quick. We are going to need to build this out by one, two, three, four, five, six blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you're going to, of course, need comparators on all of these blocks, not in subtract mode, although I do not believe it will make a difference. So one, two, three. Oh, can I place the comparator? There we go. One, two, three. Four, and actually we need to place out one more because this just lengthens it enough so that when we shut off the farm it will be able to get all the acacia logs out of there pretty dang quickly. 
So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come over here, take this and build it out in kind of an L shape like so. Place redstone dust all along there. It should connect up to both of these. Go ahead, build this up like this and over there. And it should kind of connect into these blocks. Right here, you could see our little piston right here. This is what triggers the farm to start working. And you're actually gonna run a redstone repeater into there and put redstone dust because we want to have a timer-based circuit. We do not want it to be whenever a tree grows for acacia logs. So this should basically null this circuit so that it doesn't ever run. During this, go ahead, place redstone dust there just so that way our pulse extender does indeed work correctly. Now what you're going to want to do is go around to this edge on the side of this block. Go ahead, take a redstone torch, and then you're going to want to, of course, then build out two blocks. Place a redstone dust there. Build this out by a couple of blocks. One, two, three, and place redstone dust all along there. What we're going to want to do now is you're going to want to take, just a sec, let me look over my notes a redstone output from here go ahead and place redstone dust there and you're going to need to take this and build it out just a little bit more to right here run that into a block like so with a redstone torch on top of it and then you're going to want to place a red another block there with another redstone torch two blocks two redstones, and then a redstone torch output like so. And then with that redstone torch output, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take that, and run it into some redstone just like so. And then, actually we're gonna to need to move this one back. I messed that up. So go ahead, move this one back. Sorry about that. Just like so, redstone torch, redstone dust, redstone torch right here run that into some redstone and that should run up right there so that way when we want to this will trigger the pistons to fire and then what you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to place a hopper you're going to let's first actually do right here build this out to there place a comparator here go ahead place a hopper here and then what we're going to do is we're going to build out a little two by five. So one, two, three, four, five. And we're making just a little loop right here. So one, two, three, and then make sure this hopper does indeed run in there. You're going to take this redstone and place it on top of this hopper as well. That should lock the hopper. Go ahead and place one item in there and that should be this clock done. Basically, there's nothing more for Acacia. So if we go ahead and head up here, we turn Acacia mode on. It shouldn't do anything at first. And then once we go ahead and turn on the farm, oh, I should probably get in there. You can see that the pistons will start firing on their own accord. And they should never actually pick each other up. And so this will make sure that whenever you have an Acacia based arm whenever you need to get a keisha logs none of the logs will be actually left in there so if you go ahead and actually turn off the farm you will see that this will continue to run for a little bit longer that's just to make sure it picks up any of the spare acacia logs that may have gotten lost and not picked up originally and that is intentional it should run about four times and then it should stop perfect exactly like that now we are going to build up an oak case in case you want to build up oak or mine oak trees since if the ceiling is too tall then the oak trees can grow big and that will break your farm so let's go ahead and build that case up so we are now going to make the farm compatible with oak trees and to do so we are going to need a flying machine and for a flying machine to work we need to have a roof to protect the inside so go ahead build up a roof the only important blocks are these four pieces of obsidian, or if you look down the center, you will see indeed our center block. These need to be here because we will be using slime blocks. So for this part, you're going to need slime blocks, sticky pistons, observers, redstone glass, repeaters, regular pistons, glazed terracotta, 
and slime blocks, of course. So we've gone ahead and done a little bit. So we go ahead, built this platform out by two more pieces, put a lever there, and then on the back side of that, put a sticky piston with an observer on top of it so its butt faces into this redstone, and then build the glass elevator that you've seen so many times all the way up until its signal strength runs out. From there, you're going to want to take your wire, run it out by one, two, three, four, five, six blocks. Take a one tick output from there. Go ahead, run that into some dust, and we'll come back to that in just a moment. Take a temporary block, place it there, and then on this side, in the center, place one slime block. You can go ahead, delete that temp block there, and build it up by one, two, three, four. Then go ahead, take some obsidian, place it there, place a temp block on the side of that obsidian, and place a, pist a regular piston facing in that way. And then once you're done with that, go ahead and grab your slime again, and you're going to build right there. Go ahead and come out just a little bit. Place an observer with its butt facing in towards the flying machine. Actually, not quite yet. Build up one more block and then do that. With its butt facing into the flying machine, just like so. Build this out by one, two more. And then you're going to want to take a sticky piston. Place it facing upwards here. Take your glazed terracotta. Place it on top of the sticky piston and next to it. And then place a slime block there. Place a slime block between those two glazed terracottas, go ahead, place a sticky piston facing downwards. Then you're going to take slime block, slime block, place a temporary block there, and place an observer facing in towards the flying machine. Place a slime block there, go ahead, grab your last piece of obsidian, and place it just right on top here. Now what you're going to want to do is build out, you can use your wire for this since we are going to be taking the wires, and then go ahead and place a regular just a regular piston in there. I'm gonna go ahead and grab myself a lever real quick. Lever reliever. I say both, it works. And we're gonna go ahead and test to see if this works. So go ahead, place your lever there, flick it, and your flying machine should go all the way downwards, just like that. And then once you flick, and go ahead, turn this off first, because otherwise you will break your flying machine. And if we flick this on, you will see that it does indeed fly back up. And that is perfect. So what you want to do now is go ahead and take your wire and you're going to just kind of run it directly up into these pistons, just like so. So we have that there. And then go ahead and repeat the same process right here, building up with the stairway just all the way to the piston. If I could place blocks correctly, that would be wonderful. And in theory, if you do this correctly, you will not need another repeater. So let's go ahead, just count out our redstone to be safe. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, perfect. We just barely make it. So go ahead and trigger the flying machine. You should see it fly down. And then if you look inside your farm, you should see that the sign blocks come in by three blocks and that is ideal because now there there now there is a seven block gap between here and the tallest block which means oak trees cannot grow in their weird variants so this farm is now finished for all purposes except for the little actual area where we're going to be mining the trees so let's go ahead and get into that so here is the final part of the tree farm design. What you're going to need to do is you're going to need to build out a platform. So go ahead, go one, two, three blocks out. You're going to want to place just a regular piston here and that's gonna serve as a reminder for later. But go ahead, place a solid block there and go ahead, build out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 10, 11, 12. And then go ahead and repeat this nine times. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna build in some protection so that way your pistons, your tree farm doesn't continue to work when your pistons will reach their push limit. So as you can see here, if we go ahead, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, that is the maximum push in piston push limit. Jeez, if I could word that, would be lovely. So you can see if we 
go ahead do that but if we add in one more block that will no longer be able to push it so we're going to go ahead add in some protection to keep your farm from running when that happens so go ahead grab yourself a redstone torch some repeaters some dust and a wire of whatever choosing let's go ahead and go with magenta for this one what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come all the way over here go ahead build down and over a block actually just right there that works fine place a torch there with a repeater running out of that into a solid block and i'm just going to continue to use the wires so everything is pretty nice and easy to follow and you're going to want to place reds you're going to want to just staircase down a little bit like so place redstone dust here in here i'm actually going to place a block on top of this torch so that way we can determine when we need to refresh our signal with a repeater and you're just going to essentially continue to build that down and you're going to snake all the way around until you reach here so when to reach here we're going to go ahead build down a little bit we're going to place a redstone torch here and then we're going to place a redstone torch um right on top of this block so that torch should be off it shouldn't be powering this but essentially what we're going to do is if there is a signal from there we're going to go ahead and run that right into that block so that way the farm will automatically turn off perfect so now you should see if we go and turn on our farm the only thing that will happen is we will be lifted up the clock will not start ticking you will not hear any of the pistons fire oh we're in acacia mode that's why sorry <laughs> So we're going to actually add in some protection for that as well, just real quick, because Acacia Mode does run on a different clock. So what you need to do is you need to just go ahead, take redstone dust, run it into another set of torch towers, basically, and just put a little bit of redstone dust right there. And that should keep this now from running no matter what we do. So you'll not hear the clock start ticking now. Now the pistons will fire. And that's basically just a little bit of protection. If we remove that block, everything will start working again. We flick this lever, everything starts up. Pistons start firing. At least they should, in theory. Hmm, what went wrong there? Oh, we don't have a Keisha mode on, that's why. So there we go, this should turn on vacation mode, all our pistons should be firing, everything should be up and running perfectly, and yeah. So now moving on to this little piston line, what you want to do is you want to build this out by the entire length of your little platform here. So that should be nine blocks. I have, there's issues if you go more than that, and then go ahead, build this up all the way to 10 blocks or the height of our pistons, all of our other pistons that we have ready. Okay, once you've gotten that massive wall of pistons in, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and head to this side and you're going to build up a line of observers. And just go ahead and build them up so that their little faces are facing in towards the piston. And then what you're going to want to do is what we've done so many times before with our double solid block in our glass elevator down and then there's actually a couple things that we're going to do to make sure that these pistons oh i built that wrong that these pistons do not continuously fire from the block updates from the observers so we'll get into that in just a sec all right so now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have an observer facing into this block like so you're going to actually place a sticky piston right beneath that observer facing upwards that way it will take the observer with it you're going to go ahead then build out a little platform like this have this solid block snake around the sticky piston like so place a redstone dust here place a repeater set to one tick exactly there and go ahead place redstone dust like this so in theory if we update one of these observers you will not get an infinite loop, which that was actually a poor demonstration since nothing has happened yet. Basically now we're just gonna do the same thing that we've done so many times before with these pistons and just do um, 
the solid blocks with the glass elevator taking up the redstone signal and we'll show you that once it's completed. So now we have practically everything done. All you need to do is here at the top row, there is a little extra case where you're going to need to take this out a little bit and then just refresh the signal. So that way these four pistons right here will fire when time comes. And you can see if we update one of these, there we go, just like that. This entire thing is essentially done now. So I think the only thing that you have left to do is fill up all those dispensers and droppers with bone meal and your tree farm is ready to go. You could decorate it however the heck you would like to as just make sure that you do not run into any redstone. And I think the most appropriate thing to do right now would be to time lapse a little video of this thing in action. So just under five minutes later, we have gone ahead and we have filled up just over half of the farm. This is a lot of jungle wood. That's the type of wood I decided to go with. As you can see during the time lapse, everything worked out perfectly. It gets a little bit buggy when all these pistons fire at the same time, moving like hundreds of hundreds of blocks. But yeah, I simply did that by having a command block, just place a sapling down whenever these pistons had fired. So in theory, it should be faster. And our return for that was actually really, really good. So in that time, and there was some despawning, we got 74 saplings back. And we definitely, here, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six by nine. So that's gonna be 45. And then we have 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. We have 54, so essentially we made a profit of 20 saplings off of this machine. And as these leaves decay, we will get more. And of course, there will be lost for ones that land on here, here when these are powered here. And there's really nothing we could do about that, unfortunately. But this farm works for every tree except for dark oak. There will be a world download for this in the description. But I really hope that you guys liked today's redstone video. If you did, please hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. But I'll catch you all in the next video. Goodbye!